This new e-turbo has been designed to make hydrogen fuel cells more efficient. You have the wasted energy that's coming out of the exhaust pipe or out of the fuel cell. And really, that, normally that would just be expelled to the atmosphere and not used. So by putting a turbine stage on an electric compressor and becoming an e-turbo, we can take that energy and approximately 20 to 30% of the energy that's needed to drive the compressor side, we can take from the wasted energy from the fuel cell. So in short, it gives us a much, much more efficient and high performance fuel cell electric vehicle. This is an important development for the future of low carbon transport, as hydrogen is likely to be used in many larger vehicles. Batteries are really important and batteries are going to provide a big part of the solution for road transport in the future but it can't do everything. When we get into those heavy vehicles that have got to do long distances, that have got to be always available, that's where hydrogen can really make a big difference because you can get a completely CO2 neutral piece of transport and you can charge it up very quickly and be on your way again. This breakthrough piece of British engineering was the result of an advanced propulsion centre project called Trident. It combined the expertise of major OEM Cummings with agile SMEs and academia. This collaborative approach makes design engineering more efficient. The analytical tools that we've put together through the Trident project are going to be deployed within Cummings to allow them to do right first time engineering of air systems for their customers, which is going to reduce design iterations, reducing cost, reducing time to market for new fuel efficient products. One of the SMEs, Holtex, developed a new way of polishing complex components, which has applications far beyond Project Trident. They set up a new company called Holtzen to exploit this technology. This is huge for us. We'll be making a global impact on the, the um, manufacturing of any kind of additively manufactured components, right from aerospace, automotive, nuclear energy and medical. It's really firmly placed us on the map when it comes to technological advancement and the collaborative research that's involved. Aristec, another SME, designed the high-speed motor and power electronics used in the e-turbo. They experienced the benefits of working in partnership with a large OEM and academia. The Trident program has been really a springboard to growth for Aristec, allowing us to actually rapidly develop a product, um, help take that to market, and uh, with coming support and the other partners in that, uh, we have really moved something much further forward than we could have as been a single entity. The e-turbo innovations are also making Cummins's conventional turbos more efficient. When you look at the turbocharger level, you know, we've been able to improve the efficiency probably about 5% or thereabouts. Um, but when you multiply that by the number of volume or the volumes we will sell over the next 10 years and the number of customers and applications we have, we've calculated that's roughly 200 million tonnes of CO2 reduction we'll, we'll see as a direct output of this project over the next 10 years. There are wider economic benefits delivered by these APC projects. And that support from APC has allowed us to grow from a small research group within the University of Bath to a brand new institute leveraging £70 million of investment in new facilities that is now one of the leading research centres uh, into future propulsion systems. So via this project and with the help of APC, We've already created 17 jobs, we will be creating 110. We've doubled turnover in one business. We've created a standalone business that will is aiming to turn over 20 million pounds within the first five years of trading. We've engaged relationships with a number of academic institutions. We've filed six patents now, uh, and we've, we've garnered a great relationship with a, with a global OEM in the automotive sector. To find out more about the Cummings e-turbo, and the work of the Advanced Propulsion Centre, visit apcuk.co.uk.